Hello my friends and welcome to another React Refresher tutorial. Today I'm going to give you a small question, right? So in this code block you can see I have uh, created two buttons called increment and show alert. So but there's a small issue in this code. If we go through roughly to this code, when we when I click this show alert button, it will trigger this function here and it will create a set timeout and it will wait for three seconds and it will alert the current count value. So we can increment the current count value as well when you click this increment button. So it will increment the previous count by one and set it in the state of this count variable. So, but the issue is if you have a look, let's see, I'm going to increment this and then I'm clicking show alert. Then I'm again incrementing this and you can see I'm not getting the updated count value. So the question is, what's the reason for that one and how you can solve it? So you can pause the video for a few seconds. Try to fix this issue. Okay, I think my friends have given it a try and maybe you are able to fix it or maybe not but don't worry let's discuss uh, before going through the solution i will tell you the reason for this kind of behavior you know if you know some if you have studied some basic javascript you may have remember you may can remember like there are different ways that you can pass variable values right you can pass by reference and you can pass by value we can try it out. We can click the show alert and increment it and it, store, it stores the 16, 16. And what happens is after three seconds, it directly shows that previously stored value, right? That's, that's the issue here. To fix that, what we should do is, there's another way of passing uh, values to variable. It's uh, passing by reference. So the solution for this one is, without just passing the value count here we can pass it by reference since we pass the reference here when the react application is trying to show the count value at that point it resolving that reference value which means it will give the updated count value to the screen so you can obviously use use ref to pass values as reference so I will create a small uh, reference here. Uh, let's say it uh, time ref equal use ref. It's automatically so initial value is set to zero and time ref dot current equal count. And then what we are going to do is rather than directly uh, showing this count here, we pass this reference value here, time ref dot current. By the time our alert resolves, it will try to resolve this time dot, time ref dot current because there's no any value stored in this time ref dot current. It's just a reference. It will go to the time ref dot current and resolve the current updated value. So that's how you can solve it. Let's see the solved show alert. Okay, it gets the current updated value. Yep, that's it for this video. If you love this kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and drop a thumbs up and see you soon with another awesome tutorial. Have a nice day.